Good afternoon, everybody. How is everybody doing? I hope you're doing well. I'm Simon Preston, and welcome back to Reggae Boys Commentary. This is a platform where we come together to discuss everything in relation to Jamaican football. This is your hub for everything Jamaican football related. Well, I hope everybody's doing well. It's been a productive, you could say, week slash uh, weekend in, in the grand scheme of things. The, the news that I know that everybody has been excited about in relation to the announcement of the new head coach of Jamaica has been made, and that is Mr. Steve McLaren that has been appointed as head coach of Jamaica. And I'm sure everybody would have seen these riveting pitches as well. So he's very excited and can't wait to, to get started as he gets settled on the island with everything. So that is excellent news. For those of you tuning in, I encourage you to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button to Reggae Voice Commentary for more content. That would be greatly appreciated in this video what we're going to discuss is the goalkeeper coach slash the uh, assistant coach that coach mclaren is bringing with him so this is none other than mr richard artist will serve as goalkeeper coach slash assistant coach of the reggae boys and will certainly provide some great support as well to coach meron gordon and steve mclaren as well so who is mr richard artist well let me provide you some information so mr richard artist he was born in england specifically sunderland and the way that they speak in sunderland is a bit like this because it's a deeper sort of accent up in the north so when you're from areas such as newcastle and sunderland it's a different sort of accent remember people like jordan pickford and jordan henderson players like that they're actually from sunderland so that the way that they talk is different from other people around the area but of course he spent a lot of time in manchester as well and we'll get into that quite shortly so his accent in in terms of how he speaks is a mixture between somebody that is from sunderland and from manchester you could say a combination of the two in terms of how that he speaks and communicates so, Richard Artis, what has his history been like? Well, let's start from the very beginning, back in the 80s, shall we? So, stemming back to he was 20 years old. He's been a goalkeeper coach since he was 20 years old. So, when you think about the body of work, we're talking about close to 40 years of coaching experience, close to 40 years. So, it is a wealth of knowledge and body of work that Richard Artis has been able to galvanize or accumulate in that period of time. So from 1987 to 1990, he was the youth goalkeeper coach at Sheffield United, proceeded to work after that in, in college, both across across the gender in the, the mid to late 90s. Had some experience as well at Leeds United, starting in, in 1997 in Leeds United's academy, continued until the year 2000 and progressed to Leicester City, head academy goalkeeper coach, and then from there went on to join Manchester United as the head academy goalkeeper and coach, and of course was promoted into the first team goalkeeper coach during that, that run to the double in 2007-2008, winning the Premier League and the Champions League, of course, so the time of Edwin van der Sar, you had Thomas Cusack, and of course you had Ben Foster as well in the club, Tom Heaton as well. Spent 10 years at Manchester United before heading to Norway and joined Ole Gunnar Solskjaer at Molde. Yep, joined Molde there so that you are familiar as well. Spent three years there, returned to England, was spent time at Cardiff City um, as well with Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. Then he went to Leeds United and was there for a year. I believe when Rudolf Austin left Leeds United, that is when specifically Richard Artis uh, joined Leeds United. 2016 joined the English FA and was part of England's first trophy in 57 years as England won the under 20 World Cup in 2017 in South Korea, a squad which, as you know, comprised of, sorry, comprised Dominic Calvert-Lewin and Kyle Walker-Peters, two players of Jamaican heritage. England won the under 20 World Cup in 2017 and he was part of that squad and in 2019 rejoined Manchester United as their senior goalkeeper coach so in terms of that history that is essentially what his journey has been like just showing you a couple of photos what he looks like as well this is Richard Artis and very well respected David De Gea speaks extremely highly of him so does Fabian Bartes this is a photo a recent photograph as well 
working with Andre Onana and Alte Bayendir as well. So that's a recent photograph taken. <laughs> and and that is exactly what Coach Richard Artis is like. Someone that is going to bring energy, bring positivity, bring his wealth of experience and knowledge. And certainly can't wait to get started with Jamaica. So when you look at his smile, it tells you everything in terms of the sort of character that he is. And he will bring that to Jamaica as well. And certainly smiles on the pitch as well as we go for maximum points and results. This is him working with David De Gea. And as we know, work with David De Gea, especially when he went on to win the, the Golden Glove in the English Premier League as well. So tremendously hardworking person. And it's 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 interesting in terms of what the club had to say to him as well. They had they prepared this press release wishing him well and they praised the body of work and experience that he was able to to garner over time as well. So that in itself was fantastic. So he is somebody that knows Coach McLaren very, very well, and somebody that will be a tremendous resource tool in the technical aspect of things. Very, very thorough in terms of planning and preparation and somebody that can and will have an integral role in the different departments as well. When you have persons that are successful, they bring a, co a different level of, of thinking or mindset to things. And I made this point in a previous video as well, especially with coach Steve McLaren, that when you've been there, done that, or how that experience of, let me repeat, for me in football, a definition of success is trophies slash medals. And at Manchester United, both of them, Steve McLaren and also Richard Artis, have them, have the experience of winning medals, you name it, Premier League, Champions League, FA Cup, League Cup, Charity Shield, you name it, they've won it. So when you come into an environment now in international football, you will certainly bring perspective, perhaps bring different ideas that will aid the growth continuation towards our goal and purpose, which is to get to the World Cup. That is our primary mission, journey, role, target to get to the World Cup in 2026. That will be the focus. So that is some information for you on Richard Artis so that everybody is aware. You folks can let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Any questions you may have about the background of these coaches as well and a little bit of their history as well, but certainly experienced individuals and we want to give them all the rallying support that we can. So if you see them on the road, tell them hello and say the whole country is behind them, it certainly would make them feel important, part of a journey, and that it would be riveting for them. So folks, let me know your thoughts in the comments below, and don't forget to subscribe to Reggae Boys Commentary for more content.